Hello, welcome to ES6 once and for all. On this course, we are going to learn ES6, ES7, ES8 once and for all. By this, I mean that some people, some JavaScript developers still don't know the good things that ES6 has for them. They still write old code and they just don't know how good their code would look and how fast they will be able to program if they learn ES6. So this is your guide to learn it once and for all, tick it off your list and move on with your life as an awesome developer. We're going to take um, all the features, most of all the features of ES6, 7 and 8, and we're going to explain to them. Um, this is one of our first theory course only where we don't clone a project, we just look at each feature and we kind of just like I'm going to give you examples, I'm going to explain to you where the feature comes from, I'm going to show you what we used to do before, how ugly it was, and then I'm going to show you how nice it is. We're going to be doing this, but there is not like a clone product or anything, it's going to be full on theory, which is also nice. And also, I am going to show you how to use the things that I will teach you in the real life projects. Many tutorials or courses of EXEs, they just show you like the, the feature, but they don't show you how you can actually use it on your life as a developer. So I'm going to show you also that, how you can do that. So we're going to learn about, of course, the new variables of ES6. We're going to learn about new functions. We're going to learn about strings. We're going to learn about new array methods um, that allow us to just do better stuff with arrays. We're going to learn the structuring. We're going to learn rest and spread operators. We're going to learn how to loop better with stuff like for off. We're going to learn promises, which is something that very few developers know about, but many of them use. So we're going to actually learn what a promise is. We're also going to learn a sync await, and you're going to see how it makes your code just look amazing. We're also going to learn classes, which is something that you really need to know if you work with something like um, React, for example. We're also going to learn a little bit more of like a obscure, kind of less known parts of ES6 that not many people use. We're going to learn stuff like symbols, sets, maps, generators. These kind of things are things that we don't use, we don't see often, but they have been added to the language. So we're going to explore what kind of problem they solve, and we're going to explore when should we use them, if we should use them, because some of them, they, I think they're useless. We're going to look into that, all right? So that's it. Thank you for being here. I hope I can see you inside and we're going to get started with ES6, 7 and 8. That's it. See you there. See you inside. Bye-bye.